Nothing Like a Dame is a documentary that visits four friends who happen to be the acting dames Judi Dench, Eileen Atkins, Maggie Smith and Joan Plowright. This is a must watch if you are an actor or at least have an interest in this industry just purely for their stories that are told but most importantly it's, it is really insightful in what they had to deal with as women in the acting world. And as a woman myself, I I found that really incredible, especially the era as well that they were trying to succeed in. I just mainly had an issue with the structure of the documentary. It is nonsensical as the dames seem to be just throwing any old question. One minute they're asking about baby Eileen and then suddenly asking about Cleopatra but then we never get to hear about baby Judy or baby Joan and it just was a bit like well I want to know about baby Joan <laughs> and, and it's suddenly like okay so we're finding out about baby Eileen and then it's like oh suddenly we're now on stories of Cleopatra and I was a bit like well hang on a minute why are you just jumping from things to things I have Personally, I felt like it could have done with a, a little bit more of a formulaic structure. So at first, the structure of the questions is just very jarring, but eventually I did ease into it. And then suddenly you just wish you could listen to these women forever. I did find it was cut short and I could have easily sat comfortably for another half an hour watching it. What I did like about this documentary is it showcased how funny Maggie Smith is. The director asks, tell us about working with your husbands, directing it to everyone, and Maggie Smith's response is, which one? <laughs> And I just think it's, she's just very funny. She is like the queen of wit, sarcasm galore, but she also can just have a, a giggle about herself and her life, you know? Um, and it really does make you reflect on yourself watching these women in their 80s talk about their past. You know, that big question that they are asked is, what would you say to your younger self? And though it's interesting to hear what these women would say to their younger self, what this documentary manages to do is bring that out of you and be like, what would I say to my younger self? So I found that very interesting. All these women have a connection to Sir Laurence Olivier in some way. Uh, therefore, there are going to be stories that are going to be told about him. But I did find that a large chunk of the documentary focused on him just a little bit too much. You know, it's great to have these stories about how these women triumphed against him, uh, but I felt like that was all that was needed, yet they kind of kept carrying on. And yeah, it's probably hard because seeing as one of the women was married to him, uh, but I just would have liked it to have eased away from Sir Laurence Olivier and let's just concentrate on how amazing these four women are. What I did find odd is the documentary seems to favour Dame Judi Dench against the others. I mean, not that I'm complaining because I am absolutely in love with the woman, I think. I've always said this and hands down, I think Judy Dench is one of the most beautiful women in the world and I will probably continue to say that until I am on my deathbed. It might actually be my final words, who knows? But I am a huge fan and the documentary really did centre on her, especially towards the end. It, it was a very odd way to end the documentary, just focusing on Judy Dench. Uh, I felt a little bit, like, awkward because I felt sorry for the other women. I was like, what's this about? It, unless they did film a lot of stuff and it just felt like that ended up being the best parts to get edited in. It, it just seemed very odd to me. So have you seen Nothing Like a Dame? What are your thoughts and feelings? You can pop them in the comment box below. If you've not yet seen the documentary, go watch the trailer. Let me know what you think and come back. Comment box below. Universal sign for comment box below. And please like the video. It's always good to get support. And you know, if you like what you've watched today, please subscribe and hit that notification button.